A new weapon in the battle of the bulge. Details on a new diet drug just being released on the market. Well, clearly with the weather out there, swimsuit season is over. But battling those unwanted pounds continues for millions of Americans. The FDA approving a new weight loss drug in an effort to help fight the obesity epidemic. Joining us to discuss, Dr. Ben Beckler from the U of M Family Medicine. Thank you so much for being here. This is an interesting topic. Um, so let's dive right into it. What is this drug and what do we need to know about it? The new drug, its name is Contrave. And it is a combination of medications that have already been on the market. One being bupropion, which is an antidepressant, and naltrexone, which is used for alcohol and narcotic dependence. Long story short, this drug originally was rejected by the FDA, mm -hmm. went back for safety concerns. Uh, it is really for the treatment of obesity or BMI greater than 30, or okay. if an individual has other health issues. But long story short here, it should not be the first reach. We have significant side effects that are, are potentially present. And the benefit between the placebo group and the treatment group, when combined with diet and lifestyle, was only a difference of five pounds. One group lost 15, mm -hmm. one lost 20. So the question is, is, it worth in, is five pounds worth the increased risk of heart, seizure, potential suicide thoughts? These are, these are mm -hmm. big issues. Those are serious side effects. You have to wonder if the FDA is taking a lot of heat, too, for approving that, given those concerns. Now, another health study that's out there, it, very interesting, as we try to continue to figure out what is linked to Alzheimer's. And this new study out of Canada saying that the use of sedatives and anxiety medications over time may be a link to Alzheimer's. So what is this study telling us? Number one, that we need to be cautious. And as providers and families, that we need to use really a, a good judgment and a broad spectrum approach to dealing with anxiety and dementia. A uh, couple different things that if, if, if patients and, and your viewers need to know. Number one, this study is, is very concerning. And as practitioners, we need to, to reevaluate their use. But secondly, patients should not abruptly stop these medications. Medications like Ativan, mm -hmm. Clonopin, Xanax. C the research is concerning but they should not abruptly stop because they could trigger withdrawals. Mm -hmm. Number two, to know in advanced stages, um, these medications are a critical part of the treatment program. But number three, this new research is highly concerning. Uh, we need to reevaluate our use of these medications because there was an associated 50% increased risk when looking at the, the statistics of developing dementia. Now, whether this was treating a prodrome or whether this was uh, truly uh, increasing individuals' risk for the disease is yet to be stated, but we know these augment brain function and, again, should not be uh, the first thing reached for. I would imagine this is sort of the beginning of what could be a bigger study. Are they looking at other medications and trying to see if prolonged use of other you know, medications would lead to Alzheimer's as well? We don't have a direct treatment that is effective for Alzheimer's today. And when we look at statistics, we see a doubling of, of this mm -hmm. population and dementia in general every 20 years for the future. It literally will become a huge health crisis uh, by 2050. It's already a crisis, but even mm -hmm. bigger. Uh, what we therefore are focusing on now, since we don't have an effective treatment, is reducing risk. So if we identify drugs uh, that increase risk, or if we identify interventions that reduce risk, that's where we need to focus. And that's why this is so significant. If there truly is an increased risk association with the use of these drugs long term, then we really need to reevaluate their use. Right. And long takeaway, the longer you use these drugs, the greater the association was. And, and the greater just other side effects in general are going to be for that um, you know, long-term use. Right. Two really good subjects uh, could go on and on about right. that. Um, right. And something that we'll probably read more about because more study is going to be warranted.